Hello, and welcome to another Orca 3D video tutorial. Today's video is all about subdivision in Orca 3D version 3. Subdivision allows us to separate our vessel into compartments. Each compartment has its own set of properties, and we can adjust these to simulate things like tanks, compartments which can flood when damaged, or even non-watertight spaces. In order to use Orca's subdivision capabilities, we first need an Orca 3D design. We have a whole video on setting up an Orca design posted to our YouTube channel, so go check it out if you haven't already. So far in this series, we've been using this vessel as our example model. This video will instead feature a new vessel. This is a Panamax container ship, and there's a lot of detail included with its model. We are peeling back the layers and leaving ourselves with only the main geometry that we want to import into our Orca 3D design. We're also taking care to patch up any holes left in the design, like the cargo hatches and the stern tube. We'll turn this into an Orca 3D design with two components, a hull component and a deckhouse component. Each component is made up of a unique list of smaller compartments. Compartments are labeled with these teal tags. To start, there is one compartment in each component. The subdivide command allows us to split components into multiple compartments. And that's the main topic that we'll cover today. To subdivide our design, go to the Orca 3D menu button, then to Advanced Hydrostatic Stability, then Subdivision, then Compartments, and then click Subdivide. If you're going to be doing a lot of subdivision at once, it might be helpful to bring up the Compartments toolbar included with Orca. Select the Subdivide command, then select the component that you want to subdivide. We'll start by adding some transverse bulkheads. I've turned back on some of the existing Rhino geometry and overlaid it here. The plan calls for a double bottom with transverse bulkheads at either end. As we place our subdivisions on our model, the subdivision planes will be shown in red. Right click or press enter to add the subdivisions to the design. By subdividing compartment zero, we've created two new compartments. Next, let's add our double bottom. Run the subdivide command once again. Go to the type command option and change the selection to horizontal deck. Now place the deck on the model. We have a frame system and we have the snap to frames option enabled in the view tab of the Orca panel. So our cursor will snap right to the mark at tank top elevation. The preview plane cuts through all of the compartments in the hull component. But in our plans, the double bottom is only present between these two bulkheads. To fix this, click the Specify Compartment command option. Select Compartment 2 by clicking on its label. Now, the plane will only subdivide the compartments highlighted in yellow. Right click or press Enter to add the subdivision. And we can see that our double bottom has been added, but only in the central section of the ship. The next subdivision type is longitudinal bulkhead. It subdivides along vertical planes parallel to the center line. We'll use it to add a pipe tunnel or duct keel to our double bottom. We'll again use specify compartment to restrict the subdivision to the inner bottom. In the Tree tab of the Orca panel, we can select our new compartment. Those two longitudinal bulkheads have carved a pipe tunnel out of our inner bottom compartment. In addition, they've left us with separate starboard and port inner bottom compartments. Next, let's add the rest of the transverse bulkheads between the cargo holds. They are planned to be evenly spaced 30 meters apart. Instead of placing them one by one, we can use the array function to place them all at once. Place the start and end locations on the model, and then type the spacing. Now 
The user plane type allows you to subdivide along diagonal planes. However, many users prefer to create their planes as Rhino geometry, and then subdivide along that using the Custom Geometry subdivision type, which we'll talk about next. For complex shapes, we can use existing Rhino geometry to subdivide our design with the Custom Geometry subdivision type. However, the Rhino geometry we want to use lies entirely within the vessel. This is where the clipping box function in the View tab of the ORCA panel can come in handy. Simply enable the clipping box, and then use the sliders to look inside your ORCA design. Let's focus on just one cargo hold. We'll subdivide compartment 3 using the blue poly surfaces. Keep in mind that your custom geometry must fully divide the compartment into closed volumes. That means no holes, gaps, or naked edges. If we pull back the clipping box, we see that our blue poly surfaces nicely touch all the way around compartment 3. Let's run the subdivide command again. We'll change the type to custom geometry, and then select the blue poly surfaces. The subdivision follows the contour of the existing Rhino geometry. Now we have two wing tanks and a central cargo hold. Let's head to the engine room to look at the box type subdivision, which can be used for things like small tanks or sea chests. When we select the box type, we are prompted for the X, Y, and Z bounds, but we can also draw our box. A box-shaped compartment has been added, but it extends beyond the hull, and an additional compartment has been created inside the box but outside the original hull shape. Let's draw a second box. This time, we'll set our Y-Max to Fit Mode. The new compartment will extend up to the design geometry, but no farther. The final subdivision type is the extruded curve. The first thing we should do is set the normal direction. You can type it in, or simply draw it on your model. Next, draw the polyline that you want to extrude. We'll be tracing the shape of this blue poly surface. We did not specify a compartment, so our new subdivision cut through any compartments aft. But notice how the curve did not extrude in the opposite direction. It only extrudes along the normal we set. And with that, we've covered all of the different subdivision types. In our next video, we'll go over how to modify our subdivision model, and how to edit the properties of compartments. Thanks for watching, and check out the Orca 3D channel for more how to videos. Got more questions? Get more answers with the help resources in the description.